number 14. That you Number nine, his base hit won it all, Gene Larkin. <laughs> Number 30, a great relief pitcher, Terry Leach. Number 31, rookie third baseman, what a World Series, Scott Leos. <laughs> Number 24, one of the best young players of the game, right fielder, Shane Mack. What can I possibly say? Number 47, the best, Jack Morris! Number 26, the best reserve midfielder in baseball, Al Newman. Theodore Al Newman. All right, our reserve catcher, Junior Ortiz. After playing with the Yankees in San Diego, he's finally found a home. Number 13, third baseman, Mike Pagliarolo. <laughs> the best player in baseball. Number 34, Kirby!
number 18. Reserve first baseman, Paul Sorrento. Paul Sorrento. Number 36, a fine young right-handed pitcher, Kevin Tappany. <laughs> Number 15, reserve catcher, Lenny Webster. Left-handed relief pitcher David West. And number 51, the big train, Carl Willis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your world champions. Ladies and gentlemen, every great baseball team has to have two great announcers. And because we have WCCO radio in this town, we have two of the very best announcers that there ever was or ever will be. If you haven't met them before, here they are, Herb Carneo and John Gordon. Thank you, Bob Casey. You know, all I have to say at this time is that to me, it looks like Ted and Gene have chopped in vain. <laughs> John, I'm sure you'd agree with that. It's a great day for Minnesota Twins players and all our fans, coaches and manager. We're just having a great time, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Just, just one more time. How does it feel to be the home of the world champions of baseball? That's good enough for me. First of all, I'd like to call on our skipper, who is now undefeated in two World Series, Tom Kelly. Got a videotape of TK.
Well, TK, nothing special that I have to ask you that probably hasn't already been asked you. So, in your own words, just just what are some of your thoughts about certainly one of the great World Series of all time? Well, first of all, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here today and supporting us all year. That's just very, very special. Okay. And uh, secondly, we have to give a lot of thanks to the policemen, the state troopers in both St. Paul and Minneapolis who did such a great job. They were great. They made the, uh, thanks to them, they made the parade just a fantastic event, and it was a real pleasure to be part of that. So I've got to thank those guys. They did a great job. The World Series was a, a fantastic event. Enough's been said about the World Series. I just want to thank everybody that's involved, the ball players they played with uh, the with such enthusiasm to play as well as they did and the tension that was involved in the games and the pressure that was involved. Uh, they really responded well to the to the situation and I couldn't be more happier with my players. They did just a great job and they make me a smart manager. Okay. Well Thank you. Tom Kelly, everybody. Thank you, TK. In just a moment, we'll have some words from Kirby Puckett, but right now, let's refer once again to the video screen upstairs. speak to the Minnesota Twins fans. Thank you. Thank you. I'm supposed to ask you a question. <laughs> Take us around the bases one more time, all right? Well, uh, when we came back here, God, uh, everybody was saying that uh, we were going to lose and do this. And of course, we were down three games to two. And I told people in, in Atlanta, I said, uh, we're down three games to two. We came out of St. Louis in 87 also. So I said, it's not over till it's over. We came back here and we won. Just let everybody know your thoughts as you were circling the bases and touching them all after game six ended. Well, uh, when I was touching the bases, you saw it for yourself. I was hollering, yeah, every, every five seconds, yeah. <laughs> you know, because everybody thought, that, uh, everybody thought that we weren't coming back. It was such a close game and another extra inning ball game. And when I hit it, I didn't know it was going out, but I thought it was going to hit off the glass. And 